Okay, I need to get up and go make coffee. I found a recipe on TikTok last night for cold foam, which is a thing that people sell at Starbucks. It's like this frothy, sweet, it kind of tastes like ice cream almost, but it's not completely cold. And you put it on top of your drink and it's really good. So I'm gonna go try it. because my normal oat milk is always out of stock and I'm hoping that if I like this one, I won't have to worry about my normal oat milk being out of stock. But I don't know, I'm a picky lady. Judging by the color. There really is no color in this. The flavor is good though, I will say. What a weird color. It's like clear. Okay, I think my frother is broken. That is such a loud noise. It also didn't really froth correctly, so dang. It's not bad, but it's more um, bubbly than it's supposed to be. Okay, that may have not worked super well, but it is really yummy. So I guess it's okay. This is my coffee right in the corner. So school has officially begun. Yay. This morning I have some homework to do. I need to do some math lessons. I need to do some reading for one class and then reading for another class. And then I'm probably gonna do some reading because I have a book from the library. So today I'm gonna be reading. I also need to edit some photos. I did a really special and fun photo shoot last night for a company that I literally love. They're the company that produces all of my music. But by the time I edit the photos, I'm probably going to go out somewhere and go to like a coffee shop. So stay tuned. Today's a really nice morning. I'm wearing really cute new pajamas that I just got. They're from THX Silk and they're so comfy. I'm obsessed. I love them so much. So let's just get on to it. This is what I'm looking at right now. Um, this is what I need. All right, I have to read this book and then while I'm doing it, I have to answer these questions. So simple, this is great. I'm also gonna take extra notes on this, my journal, you can check it out. It's linked below, you can buy it. It's $7 or $7.99. I like taking extra notes because it just helps me. Like if I'm just reading something, it might go over my head, but once I'm, if I'm reading and writing it down, that's a lot easier for me. So I'm gonna do that. I got a new school backpack for the first week for orientation I had the same backpack that I had last year, but I was like not feeling it And I just like wanted to get a new one So I went to Walmart and I was shopping for just like groceries and I saw this backpack It was 20 bucks and it's so pretty. I love this color. It matches my room perfectly It fits everything perfectly. I've taken it everywhere I've gone and I love it So I finished math and then I finished another class is work world view The only thing I have to do is geography today So I found I don't want to do it just yet. So basically what I have to do is I have to get my math homework. This is it. And I have to put it into my binder. When I was doing back to school videos, I got a binder and I put a bunch of tabs in them. And one of the tabs is homework. So it just goes in there. Tests, help sheets, and homework. Okay. You know what I never figured out or never learned? 
Does the paper go before the homework tab or does it go behind it? I'm pretty sure it's behind, but I get confused every time. Okay, so then this I'm just gonna put in the backpack because it's all ready for school on Monday. Oh, it low-key doesn't fit. Whoops. No, it's too wide. That's really sad. Okay, and then this, and then this is the book that goes with my other homework. So I'm literally just putting the homework inside the book. They didn't tell us to buy files to transfer homework to school and back. So I'm pretty sure this is just fine. So that goes right in there. I'm obsessed with this bag. I love the color. I'm gonna get dressed now. I think I wanna wear this shirt. It's been a really long time since I've worn it. Oh. And then I'm probably just gonna wear it with shorts because it's still summer weather. <laughs> Outfit. Love it. Okay, now I'm gonna work on some personal stuff. So y'all know I have this journal. It's my favorite thing in the world. I basically write out lists, calendars, um, goals. I literally just write like everything in here. All like businessy, important life stuff. So I am going to start doing this thing where basically every Monday of the week, I'm going to write down um, and keep track of how many times I work out, how many times I go grocery shopping, how many times I stretch and basically like healthy habits I want to keep up. And I'm going to keep track of how many times I do them. So my goal is to work out four times a week. I now have a gym membership, which means I can go so much more often. I used to have a personal trainer, so we'd have to plan anytime I wanted to work out around them and that was harder but going to the gym has been oh so great stretching literally is like a 10 minute ordeal i just like do a little bit of like yoga poses like you know and then grocery shopping i hate when i'm in the middle of the week and i'm like oh i really need this one thing and then i go to the store then i come back then i always keep like going to the store so i'm gonna do a thing where every monday or tuesday depending on how busy i am every monday i'm gonna go to the grocery store and get everything i know i'll need that week and it'll probably take time to get used to because i have to gauge like how much yogurt am i actually gonna eat do i need to get two pints or do i need to get one because sometimes i will run out before the week's over and that gets confusing but over time i'll learn what i eat and what i don't so I just want to be more organized basically I want to use my time efficiently and I want to be able to focus on all the projects I have to do like YouTube and photography and all like work stuff that I have going on all on different days plus school so certain personal needs just need to kind of like happen without them being like a big waste of time I highly recommend you guys buying a set of colored pens I have a ton in here and like they make everything so easy having everything colored off in different colors is just the best so i'm gonna write it out and show you guys what my lists are gonna look like <laughs> So this is what it's gonna kind of look like. I just realized I spelled groceries wrong because since I did apostrophe S, I only needed it to be grocery with a Y, not an IE, but just ignore that. So workout, I'm basically gonna keep track of it with a pencil and then every time I add onto the workout, I'll erase it and write a new number. That might be inefficient, but I don't know. I feel like I'll enjoy it <laughs> anyways. Workout out of four, stretch out of four, grocery shopping out of one, gas out of one. This one is gonna be the hardest for me because I love to just drive places like randomly and a lot of times I use more gas than I need to but I'm also not gonna be super critical about that because like I am 16 and like whatever videos out of three my posting schedule is Friday Saturday Sunday so three videos social this is out of two um, so basically for social it means like going out of my way to see somebody that isn't like school or music classes or like anything like that I already see people at it's like going out of my way to make something happen with someone so i think two is a reasonable amount for that especially since i see people throughout the week within my like various classes and stuff. i'm so excited and i would oh you know what maybe i should add library then again i only need to return a library book every two weeks so maybe i won't do that okay but i'm really excited to do this the school year has so much opportunity there's so much like to be organized about and i'm I just i'm loving it
my photos are all done and my bag is packed so I can go out to the little coffee place and get a ton of work done. I just feel like moving around. I just don't want to stay home right now. But before I go, I'm going to make a smoothie because I've been having so many smoothies and it's the best. Okay, one last thing. I'm gonna bring my workout gear in case I spontaneously decide I wanna work out after working at the coffee place. So I'm just gonna bring these and then whatever shirt I'm wearing is fine. And then my headphones. Probably an extra hair tie. Headphones, headphones. And then I need socks. And we're on our way. I'm in my mom's car. Really exciting stuff, you guys. What is that hair? At Sweetwaters, which is the coffee shop that I'm going to, it's like 10 minutes for me. I'm hoping to get done. I want to journal, I want to read, and I did a whole entire photo shoot last night with the music school that I was telling you about, and it was really, really fun. So I'm going to make some graphics with the photos that I edited and kind of get like some advertising stuff for my photography account and then their account as well, I believe. So it'll be good, and then hopefully we'll go to the gym. But sometimes I just really don't want to, like at all. But at the same time, I've gone to the gym three times today, so if I do go today, I'll get to finish my goal of going four times before the end of the week, so I probably should. and amazing I'm now heading to the gym I do have to do the gym pretty quick because I have to run an errand for my mother I have to go to the post office which is like 40 minutes in the other direction and it like passes my house so we'll just do a, a quick little gym moment maybe I'll just take like a 30 minute walk and I'll be really sweaty so I'll feel good in a gr not gross way at all I promise and then yeah I think that works okay my croissant was four dollars I have to add it to my spending list how do you spell croissant croissant post office. I haven't been to the post office in like seven years, so this will be interesting. I have never been here. This is so exciting. Apparently I was picking up a package. I thought I was dropping it off, but here's the package. I got a lollipop. Now I'm headed home. I need some lunch. Out of the 
the shower and I'm in clean clothes. I'm gonna put on a face mask. For some reason, y'all, every single fall and winter, my skin really breaks out. And I've already kind of felt it have a slight difference in my skin from the beginning of summer to like August, which is now. And I really don't want my skin to break out. So I'm doing everything it takes to keep it healthy. But most likely because every fall my skin breaks out, my skin will break out. <laughs> At least it's a routine. At least it doesn't come when I least expect it. You know, because that would be annoying. This is the Pineapple Hydrating Quibella Mask. I also bought another one the other day. It's a lavender one. And I might use that this evening or tomorrow. But I just love face masks. They make me feel good and clean and girly and happy. I just realized I have this thing. I should have had this on before. Okay. Mm. Okay, was that smooth? Okay. That was slightly painful. I can't believe I'm saying this in August, but it's actually not too hot to be outdoors. So I just made some coffee. I'm gonna continue reading, but I'm gonna be outside. Because I am a big, like, I want to sit outdoors person. That's why I love fall and spring the best. Because they have the most, like, moderate weather. It's not too cold. It's not too hot. And, like, any chance I have, I'm going to be sitting on my deck. All right. Well, I'm just going to hang out here for pretty much the rest of the day. And then I think I'm going to, like, hang out with my brothers this evening. But nothing crazy. So, I love you, besties. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.